What's up, family? It's your boy Russell Mack, and this is Old School Sunday. What's up, everybody? It's Matt Swag Parfum. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going back to 2004. So, the music you're hearing is none other than Too Short, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I don't own the rights to any of the music. So, you know that. I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. And of course, I'm eating my Twizzlers today, y'all. I love that big old bag of Twizzlers. So, you gotta excuse me. Today is my relax day. I'm gonna relax in the day. But I wanted to get on and do an old school uh, Sunday review. So, let's get into it. To leave turn the music down just a little bit. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome to another episode. You join at the right time. This is Old School Sunday, where we talk about fragrances from back in the day. Simple as that. You feel me? I give you a comprehensive, simple review where you can understand the fragrances that we all know and love. What about that? So, join the channel. Become a part of the family. We are growing here at the Vineyard. We have some fun here at the Vineyard. We, we got love, positivity, all of the things that you need for uh, the making of success. All we need is you. So, subscribe, hit the bell icon, thumb up the video, share it, and comment in the thread below. My scent of the day, guys, is actually a fragrance you need to smell. Here it is. And I'm not going to talk about it much right now, but this is called Vintage 1956. If you see this in the rack store, you snatch it, all right? I'll tell you more about it later. It's a cologne, but it is so intoxicating. You need to get your hands on it for yourself, all right? Now, today, we're looking at a fragrance from the house of JV, John Varbatos. Um... Turn it up a little bit to live. Just a little bit. Right there. Right there. John Barbatos, it gets a bad rap. A bad rap because of the performance. And now we're starting to see that all, all the frequencies, everything now got bad performance. We're getting new formulations. Even niche fragrances having bad performance. So that's redundant. Okay? So I'm still going to talk about them. One of the best fragrances I think... John Barbatos has in from their house, and uh, we are approaching the winter and fall, uh, and it's this one. This is a sample I have. I was fortunate to get a couple of samples, so I can preview it and wear it, okay? This is John Barbatos by John Barbatos. They're uh, one of my, two of my favorite fragrances. I have them in there on my, on my shelf there. One of them is the leather and leather frag. It smells like a new jacket, new leather jacket. It's the in, uh, JV engine, the Nick Jonas and John Barbados combination crimson. If you haven't tried that frag, you need to try it. To me, it's one of the most underrated and under and slept on frag in John uh, by that house. Man, it smells so good. It's got uh, rum, coffee, and saffron. Just to name a few notes, and it's beautiful. Then I have Vintage, Vintage by John Barbatos, okay? Now, I do need Dark Rebel, so if you guys feeling generous out there, any of my subscribers want to, you know, you're feeling generous, I want Dark Rebel so bad. That's the one I want. That's another great one. Well, this one here, it puts me in the mind of Dark Rebel. Only Dark Rebel is a lot more spicy. This one here was released in uh, 2004. I'll put the nose up and the notes up, and I'm going to have to Leo read the notes for us. But this fragrance here has some booze in it, some oud, and uh, some hay, and some other notes. I'm going to let her read them. It's, it's, it's classified as, a, uh, I believe, a leather amber. Um, and this thing is really beautiful. Wow, it's really beautiful. Let's restart my music, baby. And... Go ahead and put the notes up and go and read the notes so that my peoples can hear them. All right? I'm going to go and spray up, y'all. Leather, amber, dates, vanilla, balsam fir, herbal notes, caramel, albanium, hay, 
Styrax, and Tamarind. Okay, so I, I, there's no way I'm going to tell you right now that I can smell all of those notes. I'll be lying, okay? But I'm going to tell you what I get. So you do get a lot of vanilla in this fragrance. You get a spicy opening. You have this kind of a synthetic twinge in the opening. But what you mainly get here is a, is a beautiful vanilla amber leather fragrance. You get that really strong leather opening with vanilla and the caramel note and a bunch of herbal notes. You get these resins and balsamics in the dry down. But you get this creamy vanilla heart from the dates and the vanilla, the styrax. And the oud is, is there, but it's not a prominent oud. But you do pick it up throughout the fragrance. You do get it in the opening with the leather. So this thing opens up really strong. This is a very masculine fragrance. It is a very, very masculine fragrance. You won't mistake it for a unisex. I can guarantee you that it, it's, it has a warm, spicy uh, depth to it or quality to it. It has body, and I am shocked that this fragrance uh, is not talked about more. Maybe because it's not winter yet, but as we approach the fall and winter season, we're going to start seeing fragrances like this more readily uh, available, and people will be reviewers will be talking about them more. This puts me in the mind. It's in the family of uh, Jazz Club by Replica and Mason Mark Margiela. It's, it's like that. It puts me in the mind of Issy Miyake, uh, it's called, I think it's called Noir Argent. Okay, I need to review that one. I still have a sample of that, a decan of that. It's in that family. It has this creamy, vanilla, amber, woody, herbal, and herbaceous, if you will. Spicy and warm. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice, masculine fragrance. It has some some complexity to it. And you know, it's one I wouldn't sleep on. The oud is not a skanky oud. It's blended very well. Uh, the nose there is a nose that's well known. Uh, so I'm not surprised by the way that this one is blended. Now, I know all about their performance, but this one here, I sprayed it this morning when I got up and I've washed my hands several times throughout the day and guess what I have still been picking up the the ambery scent from this fragrance and that's amazing considering I wash my hands with soap and sanitizer my I have and I still can smell it so it's one I would say if you run across it you may can find it in the rack stores but I, I doubt it this is not one that I see often you know I will say on your fragrance discounters, you can get your hand on this bad boy, and you you see the bottle up there too. I know I'm late in the game by telling you that, but the bottle has been up. You see, it's a beautiful black bottle. It's like the John Barbados bottles you used to see. It, you know, it has that black netty net look uh, around a weaved basket around it, which is silver writing. It's a nice uh, presentation for a nice heavy winter falls fragrance that's masculine somewhat mass appealing, deep and dark and sensual, and uh, I can see men over 40, well, 35 and up, rocking this fragrance. As it dries down, you get more of this almost boozy quality, although there's not much, you know, booze in it, but it does give off a boozy kind of element, if you will. Now, for those of you who may have smelled this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this, this is a nice fragrance. So, I want to talk about something from a house that don't get much love today. So, I thought, since I had these samples, why not talk about John Barbatos? Um, this is a room filler, okay? You want to get three to two to three feet projection in the opening. So, people will smell you, all right? Three to four hours, maybe five, all right, of, of strong performance from this kind of fragrance. I love the caramel and hate and dates that's in this. It really gives us a unique smell. Wow. Uh, eight to 
nine hours, I would say, you can get out of this fragrance, okay? Sophisticated, classy, masculine fragrance that I don't think you can go wrong with if you try it, okay? So guys, that's my take on it. I didn't want to hold you too long. Uh, thank you guys so much for the growth and success that this channel is now having. We're having some really good success in our analytics and I am so happy, I'm so proud, I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. I love you guys so much for what you do for your boy. You, you feel me? And now you know what? I feel the love. And I thank you so much for it. So, I'm going to get back to relaxing, guys. Got a big old bacon cheeseburger waiting on me. My girl just got home. <laughs> so, I'm going to go and finish relaxing. Thank you guys for stopping by for another review. I'll see you soon. Uh, right here, same place, with your brother, Mr. Russell Mack, the OG. Take care, family. God bless you. Have a great Sunday evening. Peace. All right, all right.